How many times have you felt frustrated in your lessons, your revision, your studies with the notion of, I just can't remember it? Especially when you have that underlying sense of the fact that you did know the thing you're trying to remember at some point before. In other words, you're frustrated at forgetting. What I want to say to you today is, don't worry, this is completely normal. This is a normal part of humans trying to learn new information. As long ago as 1885, a psychologist called Herman Ebbinghaus was studying just this phenomenon. He tested on himself. He memorised nonsense words like wid and zoff and calf, and he tested himself to see if he could retain the information about these nonsense words after different time periods. He plotted the results of his own forgetting of information on a graph like the one you can see here, which many now refer to as the forgetting curve or Ebbinghaus's forgetting curve. What he found was that at the time of learning, memory retention was 100%. In other words, just after he finished learning the list, he could remember 100% of it. And that might be how you feel when you're leaving a lesson or you're looking at a piece of revision that you've just done, that you can remember 100% of what you've just gone over. However, what he found was that immediately after that piece of learning had taken place, that um, the, the memory retention, what you remember about what you've learned, dropped really, really quickly. And what he found was, as you can see on this here, that an hour after he had learned the piece of information he was focusing on, he'd forgotten over half of it. And again, that might be something that you experience. You totally understand something in a, in a lesson. Two lessons later, you can't remember half of what you knew that you knew. But what he also found out was that that process of forgetting slowed down a little bit as the time continued. As you can imagine, what Ebbinghaus, what Ebbinghaus was also interested in is how you went about dealing with that idea of forgetting something really quickly over time. And he looked at two particular areas. He looked at the process of overlearning in particular. The more that you um, practice something more than is usually required to memorize it, the more you store that information more strongly in your head. In other words, you forget it less. And he also found out that if you space out that relearning of information, you also forget it less. And this is something that's really useful to know when you're revising something. As you can see on the graph here, if you learn something and then you did nothing about relearning it, that learning would over time ebb away to really, really low numbers. But if you, over a period of time, actively retrieve that information, you review it, you relearn it, then that forgetting over time flattens out. And the more you revisit and relearn a piece of information, the better your long-term retention of that piece of information. As a school, we've invested in CentryTech because it uses many of these principles in the way that the pathways on CentryTech are generated over time uh, by the artificial intelligence of the actual programme itself, giving you the options to overlearn, to repeat the nuggets, which is what they call those little mini lessons, and by spacing out their, the relearning for you, which is why they've got their claim, well, not their claim, actually, their, their data-based piece of evidence that student performance improves every time a student revisits a nugget, even when that nugget has slightly different questions. And so I want to finish this morning by just showing you a few tips when you're on Century Tech that will help to allow you to maximise your learning and to, um, build up that sense of fighting against that natural forgetting curve that Ebbinghaus, Ebbinghaus has shown us. So firstly, just before I share my screen with you to show you some things to play around with on Century Tech, I just want to remind you about how you get on it in the first place. Um, yeah, there are lots of different options when you bring up the Century Tech page off, off the internet. Um, and the only one that you are interested in is sign in with Office 365. You click on that and then you sign in with your normal school email. 
I also just want to um, show you the page that you will see when you get to the end of a particular nugget, which gives you that immediate ability to have another go. So you can, when you get to the end of each nugget, it tells you how many um, marks you scored, how many you got, what your percentage was. It gives you that chance to be able to rate the content, to say how you feel, and then it gives you two options. One is to move on to the next nugget, as you can see at the bottom, but the penultimate option is to try the nugget again. And our advice always is that if you have got something like 70% um, or below, then consider trying that again. Also consider how long you spent on that particular nugget, which it gives you the amount of time, which remember your teachers can see. So if one of the reasons that you got such um, that, that you might have got a score below 70% might be, as you can see in the example here, that you've whizzed through the questions just getting them. And so having another go, trying to get higher and also spending slightly longer on it is going to be beneficial. As many of you will already know, when you log on to um, Century Tech, your screen as a student looks something like this. Um, the little icon there at the top is my path. And the simplest thing that you can do is follow things in the order that the computer or your teacher has generated for you by clicking on start. It's useful to know that if you have got multiple pathways that have been loaded for you, you can switch between them really easily with this little toggle button in the right hand corner. If you click on the down arrow, then you can choose to have displayed the subject that you want to be focusing on. So if you're wanting to focus on maths, for instance, and not English in that particular day, you just choose, um, you just switch these toggles so that the one that shows in colour is the one that you're necessarily going to see and you click on apply. And as you can see here, you give it a minute to process that and it will just show you the subject that you have focused on. So that's the simplest way to use those toggles there so that you can just see one at a time. Most of you that have been on Century Tech will probably already be aware of that, but I just want to show you a couple of little features that you might not be aware of that really help to maximise you um, using Century Tech to really help you be the best learner that you can be. So this little toggle there, uh, this, this little icon there is my dashboard and that might not be something that you have necessarily used so far. If you click on that, then you can see what this looks like. So. What this does is it gives you a summary of what you have achieved so far. Again, if you're on multiple um, pathways, you can switch between the different courses that you're on, but we'll just focus on reading here. It gives you your overview, gives you your scores, so you can see how well you've done. It also gives um, kind of a summary of that below here. It shows you your strengths, it shows you your areas for improvements, um, it gives you your score there in percentages, but the bit I really want to show you is this bit here. Now your teachers and the computer program itself will design the course so that it um, puts on your pathway after a certain amount of time, things for you to revisit or things for you to do to stretch yourselves. But you yourself can also um, do that. So at the bottom here, for instance, based on what this student has done so far, it shows you um, nuggets in the course that would stretch yourself a little bit further. It gives you nuggets on the course that are similar to what you've already done, but that by revisiting that particular area will allow you to improve. Now, as I say, you can use the My Path and wait until the computer puts those in the pathway for you, which where your teacher's not intervening with nuggets, that will happen automatically over time. You can, if you want, um, not not wait for that. So if, for instance, you're looking at that and thinking, OK, to stretch myself based on what I've done so far, what I could have a go at is to look again at, say, description of setting. That's something I want to get a little bit better of. I've already had a go of that over here and we can see that I didn't do badly. 
I got 77%, but I didn't get 100%. So maybe I could have another go at it. So description of setting, dystopian city. I want to have a go at that now myself, rather than waiting for the computer to do it for me. So that's the little code of that, ER 2.03, description of setting, dystopian city. So how do I access that if I um, want to do that straight away? Well, you go onto this little icon here that's called my courses and you click on that and it shows you the courses that you've got set up on your pathway you click on english language because that's the one that you're looking at and here it shows you all of the nuggets that are available and it's as simple as you can scroll down looking for the one that you are after there it is description of dystopian city and you click on that and there you go it begins. What I also just want to show you at this particular juncture is how you can, because um, you might not be aware of this, you can use these little circles here to go backwards and forwards. So if, for instance, I've had a go at um, playing the video with a little bit of teaching that's there on a description of setting, and then I'm moving myself forward and I'm, I'm having a look at um, the question and I think, do you know what? I don't know the answer to that question. I can't remember it. You could, of course, click, I don't know, but a good learner would think about, well, I know that there is information that I've just had a look at that uh, where the answer is, perhaps I need to revisit it. So what you can do is you can click back. You can use these little toggles here, at least the little bit here, and it will take you back. And that's the same as if you've got to say this, this particular question, which it won't let me move on to because I haven't done the, the first one. You can click back and you can revisit. And again, what good learners do is if they know that they can't remember something, even after they've just read it or watched it, that's something that they can have a go at. So I hope that's just helped to show you with that use of my courses, that use of my dashboard, as well as that use of my path that you're already familiar with, different ways that you can use Century Tech and the way it's organised to support you as a good learner.